Brian Chira is under four very powerful attacks from the devil. He is under four very satanic influences, basically. That means there are certain demons behind everything that he's doing. Most of the things that he's doing, number one, alcoholism. You know very well that alcoholism can be set in the kingdom of darkness on someone for destruction so that your health gets worse. Your finances are just terrible. Your relationships are terrible. You cannot socialize. You are a drunk, a drunk. You eventually die. Two, HIV AIDS. I want to talk more about this later. I'll explain this to you. And uh, it is spiritually set. And I said, when you see snacks, in your, in your dreams, and when you dream that you're eating, you're eating, particularly even eating with the dead people, that is so wrong. Those are, those, those are just witches setting you for other things, just, you know, uh, depositing diseases inside your body and struggles and stuff like that. Number three, as a factor I would really like to analyze deeply is the fact that Brian Chira is, a, is an orphan. Mm. What killed the parents? And or who killed the parents, we will get there. And then, of course, there's the matter of gazing, okay? The fact that this boy is openly gay. Now, understand that the demon that, is, that basically influences gayism is called the putrid demon, and it is set. <laughs> okay, I will explain that later. You remember the story I was telling of that lady that used to live with a neighbor, and so th their sons used to play together so much, it bonded their friendship so much. This lady didn't actually understand that the neighbor is is a wicked person until a particular point where now she started uh, dreaming. You know, these homes, that, these houses that are split by, you know, perimeter walls, these block walls. Every night she will see this neighbor on the wall throwing pink balls and pink dresses to the sun and the sun would receive them. You know, and, and this lady for a long time, she thought, ah, my neighbor is a friendly person. It is okay even in the dreams if she's sending pink items to my son. And by the time that guy was in high school, he was seriously gay. You understand what I'm saying? These things are set in the spiritual world. You need to really understand how witches work. Okay, let me, let me ask, let me take, talk about Brian's parents. Brian's parents, Brian's parents, were they rich people? We should start from there. If they had influence and they had money, then did they enter certain covenants? Because this is what most parents are doing. They are going to the marine kingdom. They are going to the, to, into satanism. You understand? And bringing home spirits. They are creating rooms and locking these rooms so that no one can access those rooms. They are feeding demons inside there. They are bringing home things, altars. that And you know, demons, they congregate. They love you know, they bring in more demons and they love children. They love attack because they love young souls so that they can grow along with them and continue to pervert them and continue to, I don't know, pollute these young souls. So my question is, were the parents rich? Did they enter certain covenants? Okay, in whatever kingdom it is that they were using probably for money. Or did they mess up with someone who messed them up? Because who, who probably even killed them and decided to even mess up with their lineage. Because understand that sometimes when you're doing business, it can go sour and people can kill you over that. You understand? Number two, if the parents were average or poor, I am looking at the father's brothers. African uncles from your father's side. Hello? Am I talking to someone? Your uncles from your father's side will be your undoing. They will kill your father, kill your mother, and even pursue you and try to kill you. If they will not, they will build an altar to ensure that they destroy you. This, these are our African uncles. Let us not hide these facts. These are open facts. You understand? I have been through this. I know what African uncles can do to you. You understand? So when you have money and your children are getting heirs, please stop telling people what is wrong with you. When you have money and you're living a comfortable life, please beware the kind of people you welcome to your homes. When your, children is do when your child is doing so well in school, stop telling everyone. The, this, this thing called star is a real thing. And there are people that can see it from afar. There are people that can actually see that this child, this couple has had, is going to become a millionaire, is going to be a leader, is going gonna, is gonna to influence the, 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 the world in a particular way. And they start attacking your child. Or they kill you so that this child does not access education. That is how it goes, people. You understand? And so they know by killing you, poverty will continue to, to you know, to ravage your, your lineage, your children and your children's children. Unfortunately, they do not know God because God says, I am the God of the, of the widows, 
of, and the orphans and the husband of the widows and the father to the orphans. You understand? So there, I'm suspecting there must be a lot of that from the father's side of the family. Unfortunately, I'm not seeing a cousin coming in or a sister or something like that, just coming in and trying to talk because it's very, I'll tell you why it is important that they come out and discuss these things. The other thing I am also seeing is Brian must have had sex with someone who deposited certain demons inside him. How did he get HIV? Sex is very spiritual. When we say these things, young people will be like, ha ha, to watch it, to enjoy sex on the first date is the real thing. Let me tell you something. STDs is, is not just sexually transmitted diseases. There is also what we call sexually transmitted demons. So you will sleep with someone and you'll become hopeless immediately after that, especially if they're giving you money. Apart from depositing diseases, they'll deposit in you things that you never thought possible. Alcoholism, reckless sex, mismanagement of finances, poverty. You never know this person that you're sleeping with, what kind of gods they worship, what altars they're trying to service, and they put your body on the altar. Oh my God. Young people, when will you understand this thing? I am looking at Brian Chira, and Brian Chira is a very smart guy. Brian is very brilliant. And this, Brian, Brian, his mind, oh my God, this young man is so smart. And this is something somebody saw. Either for family ya baba yaki, ama. Mambo mengine anezo kwa yali, tokea. My question today is this. Eh? Remember, the devil comes to kill, to steal, and to destroy. My question today is this. Where are the pastors? Where are the pastors? Where are the pastors? Where are the pastors? Pastor ako wako wapi? Pastor ako wako wapi? Fools, these pastors. If Brian had money, they would come for him. Oh, I want to do deliverance for this boy. They all know that what this boy is experiencing is 100% spiritual. He needs deliverance and deep prayers. If Brian can just own up and say, hey, yeah, I'm tired of this life. I really need to turn it around. Only God can do that turning around business. He can. But it requires a man of God that is so much committed and is spiritually straight. Wapi pastor yako unashinda kwa church kila jumapili. Ati anaokoa, anaokoa watu. Kwa nini asiokoe Brian? Ama kwa sababu Brian ana pesa. This nonsense. Niliwambia izi makanisa. People, I will always tell you this. Fear your friend three times. Fear your uncles 70 times. And aunties. But your sibling, fear them a hundred times. Mini meenda. Mpate wu mtoto spiritual food. Ivi vitu vitaisha. Only God can align our soul. Only God can forgive. Only God can change. Only God can save. Only God, the word of God can deliver this boy. Pastors. Watu 